Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. It's going to be a reading for the sign of Cancer for March 2021. General readings, where it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. Alright, so we're going to go with Cancer for March 2021. The Elk. The Peacock. I'm not going to read the Peacock. Because sometimes I like to go intuitive, sometimes I like to go book definition. Guess what I'm going to tell you what that is. <laughs> um, the elk, stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. The great elk represents the earth's element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many challenges. An elk personality is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. They become known and represented for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated. <laughs> That's funny because I'll tell you what I want to tell you about that in a minute. But for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. So this is kind of emperor energy, right? This. So my friend uh, has like this thing he says, when I'm looking in the mirror, he'll go, stop peacocking, right? Because you know how like a peacock kind of fluffs up his feathers, right? So this is someone that definitely knows their worth, knows their power here. In all realms, including physical attraction. They know they're good. <laughs> they know they have it together. They know they have it going on. <laughs> the hammer, as soon as I say that. Sabotage. But this person may sabotage some things. palm tree stability see this person is they're very stable they have a lot going for them they're probably attractive people but there's something to do with sabotage here stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack what's this sabotage thing here anxiety What's this sabotage? Soul spark. It feels like someone may... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's like, this person is the emperor to this empress, right? Um, soul spark. It's like, it feels like if this person, this person may have an encountered, this may happen often, or this may just be one particular instance, right? They encounter someone of equal match, right? This their empress to their emperor or vice versa, whatever, right? When they encounter this, it's they go into instant sabotage mode, possibly out of fear, or just like, oh my god, this person's amazing. Or again, this is a general reading. So or oh my god, I'm gonna get hurt. Let's see, what is this? Tell me more about this sabotage. Tell me more about this sabotage. Why do these random cards keep in a fixed sign and cardinal sign? I normally don't even take these. I'm going to put them back. What's this sabotage? You know why? Because I think that's it. Let's keep going. Unity. Union here. Someone also... Oh my god. Sabotage. This is weird. Like, I mean, we have counterparts here. This is basically emperor energy. This is empress energy. It feels like when someone actually goes to communicate, they fumble. Geo the slow. Or they take too long. They took too long to come forward because they were fearful of getting stabbed in the back. It's something about self-sabotage. Either they... 
Don't come forward fast enough. They say the wrong thing because you have communication, right? But this person is an attractive person that has is stable and has a lot going for them. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan in the right direction. This per person may be kind of all over the place. Clock. See, there's definitely, an, there's definitely something to do with time here. Clock time. Time pressure in a rush. This person may come forward. Also, there's so many different scenarios here, but it's like this person also may come forward too aggressive and too quickly because they feel like there's some sort of rush causing them to sabotage it by saying something wicked random, right? Or not, not thinking thoroughly about how they're going to approach someone. But there's definitely a time. There's definitely a time thing. Whether it's too slow or too fast or someone sabotages because they say the wrong thing. Um, two of Wands, Choice, the Magician, Six of Wands, Victory. This person wants, I'm now I'm feeling like it's more with one particular person. This person wants this Empress, right? But they, they might just be afraid they're going to sabotage it. They might just be sure afraid they're going to sabotage it. They may have sabotaged it, but they may be afraid they're going to. And they, they really feel like they have to approach it at the correct time. It's either too slow or too fast. <laughs> More patience. It's like they feel like they don't know the method of approaching. What to say, when to say it. Whether they either already screwed it up or they... I don't know. Tell me more here. Child, new beginnings. So this is spontaneous. Diamond ring. This is someone they see... Union here, right? Uh, marriage, but the heart. They have lots of feelings here. The fox. Sly, right? They might be literally like hardcore trying to figure out like exactly how we want to approach judgment. The, the decision to do so. They don't they, they might have a this person may have had Ball and chain. They also probably don't want to, I mean, like we talked about before, they don't want to be heart problem. They don't want to be stuck in something codependent, but this person may have ha may have been rejected a lot in the past. Because maybe they used to self-sabotage a lot. And now they're at emperor level, right? But they don't want to, still don't want to be rejected again. Priestess, trusting your intuition. Grounded. This person really wants to think about how they're going to approach this person. They're looking for, possibly looking for a sign on exactly when or what to um, say. For some reason, I want to say your sign is do it now. Like if you're the one watching this video. He's on a quest. They have a mission, for sure. This person has a mission, but they don't want to sabotage it. Your sign is now. Do it now. I mean, it's, there's never no possibility of not being rejected, but you got to shoot your shot. For sure. All right. I think that's all we're going to do. Let's pull one final card. Oh, we have two. Honesty. Some, they're going to just impulsively end up being honest. That's why I've been so hardcore thinking about it. What should I do? When should I say it? Blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, they're just going to be like, you know what? 
boom. I need to be honest. And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.